yes, we, we have to pay our penance because back in the day, during the 2020 draft, when the Vikings were looking to replace Stephon Diggs, I was in on a certain TCU wide receiver named Jalen Rager. And what Fra- was frankly a little bit bummed, a little bit verklempt uh, when the uh, Philadelphia Eagles selected him number 21 ahead of the Vikings who had to settle for Justin Friggin Jefferson. Now, it worked out. Certainly did. And the Vikings uh, last season traded for Jalen Rager uh, for basically nothing. And now uh, the question is, what is Jalen going to do in year four? So career hasn't panned out. He hasn't uh, He hasn't lived up to that potential of being a first-round pick. Obviously, fifth-year option, mm, not, not going to happen. And, yeah, I mean, it's got to be tough being in the same locker room as the guy who drafted right behind you who quite possibly is the best wide receiver this uh, the league has seen in a couple of decades. Well, one decade, mm. uh, but what, what's what's going to happen with Jalen, right? So when, when the Vikings traded for him, I was pretty pumped. I was like, hey, didn't work out in Philly for a myriad of reasons. He can come in, be a wide receiver, four or five, play some special teams, utilize him almost like the Eagle, uh, the the Niners, excuse me, use Debo Samuel and go from there. But it hasn't happened, e- even though he's been given an opportunity. And also, you know, Coach Hat, Matt Daniel, was super excited about him. He's got thick, strong legs, big glutes. Uh, really, glutes is butt, by the way. Mm. Uh, really nice calves. Again, I salivated over the guy. So, I mean, Coach Hat was pretty hyped uh, about him. But it didn't pan out. Where O'Connell initially tried to find him a role. It didn't quite work out. Uh, 13 catches over. Excuse me. Uh, eight catches. Nailed it. On 13 targets, 104 yards, one touchdown on a shovel pass, and just wasn't really getting it. Well, wasn't really getting it together. And also punt returns, that was a bit of an adventure. His yards per punt return average was 27th in the league. Also had four muffs, and he just didn't find his role. Also, a couple of Kirk Cousins interceptions were due to miscommunica- uh, miscommunication by Jalen Rager, and sometimes he just quit on his route. And Kirk ended up sailing a couple of interceptions, so that, that's part of it as well. But Entering year four, uh, he is due a two point, uh, two point four and change million dollar base salary. Uh, so, does that keep him on the roster? I don't think it does. I, I think that the Vikings could potentially see this as a sunk cost uh, if he doesn't emerge from camp as a top five receiver or secure uh, the punt return job. So. I don't know. Uh, again, I, I don't know if that guarantee is enough to offset him uh, if he's outperformed by someone else on the roster. So looking around, so you got Jefferson, Addison, KJ. That's going to be one, two, three. Uh, and you could switch up Addison and KJ, whatever. But you do have Brandon Powell in the mix, playmaker formerly of the Rams. Also has some punt return ability. So there's some crossover there. Jalen Speedy Naylor, uh, six-round pick last year out of Michigan State, I think uh, is really primed to step up. So that could be wide receiver one two, three, four, five right there. Jefferson, Addison, KJ, Powell, and Naylor uh, with potentially Ragger on the outside looking in. And then you throw in Trishan Jackson from Syracuse and Blake Prohl uh, coming off that ACL. Sipheus Johnson the third uh, Is he going to be the Taysom Hill, Joe Webb type player? Malik Knowles uh, is an absolute stud, dy- dynamic returning kicks. Uh, could he find his way onto the 53? Thayer Thomas, if you're looking as a punt returner, was a phenomenal punt returner for NC State. So I think his spot on the roster is far from guaranteed, you know, despite uh, the, the pretty sizable guarantee uh, of his base salary. And who knows if there's offset language, uh, if the Vikings do cut him loose and then he catches on somewhere else, TBD there. But I, I don't think that his spot is far from guaranteed. Well, no, I, I do think that his spot is far from guaranteed. So, I mean, this is it. Uh, this is time for Jalen to step up. He's going to have a full off season with the team. So is he going to start panning out on some of that potential that did make him a first-round pick, that did make him uh, the wide receiver taken before Justin Jefferson? Who knows? Who knows what's going to happen uh, this year? But your thoughts are our thoughts. Uh, last chance for uh, Jalen Rager. Let us know your thoughts and our thoughts in the comment section below. Subscribe for Daily Vikings Takes. Once more the work, put a little something in the Venmo. But to next time, Skull Production Value.